Hello Delcom students and teachers. Today we're looking at how to set safe and secure passwords. This is an important part of digital citizenship and as more and more of our school and personal lives move online, it becomes increasingly important that we keep our passwords secure from hackers, spammers, and even people we know who might want to use that information to hurt or embarrass us. So how do you create a strong password that you can remember? Let's start by avoiding the obvious the easiest passwords to guess. Password, believe it or not, is actually the most common password and it's super easy to guess. But we also want to avoid our phone number, anything with our birthday, or address. For people with kids, the most common password after password is the kid's name and birth year. And for those without kids, it's their pet's name and birth year. So Fluffy2015 is not a very good password because it's too easy to crack. Instead of a password with a single word and a set of numbers, your account becomes much more secure if you instead use a passphrase. A passphrase is a short sentence. By using multiple words, you make it much more difficult for someone to guess, but it's still easy enough for you to remember. For example, maybe you like your Delta MS password. If I go to password.kaspersky.com though and check my password, it can be cracked in 20 days. Not very secure in the scheme of things. Plus, if it's someone at the school, it would take even less time because they already know the Delta MS part. They just have to figure out the last numbers. I could change that though to I am a Delta student. When I replace some of the letters with numbers and special characters, it becomes even more difficult to crack. In this form, it'd take 51 years to crack that password. Fluffy2015 can be cracked in just 15 minutes, but I can change it to Fluffy is a funny cat, and this is so secure it take over 770,000 years to crack by a typical computer. Even better, Mrs. Sylvie is the queen would take more than 1 million years to crack. But remember, your password is only secure if you keep it secure. You should never share your password with anyone except your parents or guardians, your teachers, or your school tech department so that they can help you if you're having problems. If possible, don't write your password down. If you're afraid you'll forget it, make sure to write it somewhere private, so not on the cover of your agenda. And a passphrase, written like a normal sentence, is also a lot less obvious than a password. Fluffy2015 is obviously a password. But Fluffy is a funny cat could just be a sentence about your cat. So to recap, you're going to use a passphrase, not a password. You're going to use a combination of upper and lowercase letters as well as numbers and symbols. And you need to make sure you keep your password private.